Hey, Bentbrook here. I am uh, in my shop and I am working on making some fire starters, some homemade fire starters, and I'm about to go outside and do a burn time test on one of them. So I want you to come along and see, and I'll let you know if this actually is a good idea, if it's working for me. And uh, if it seems like it's something that might be worth your time, I will let you know, and I'll show you how to make it. So let's go outside and see what's going to happen with this burn test. Okay, first burn test. Catches easily enough. Let's see if it'll actually stay. As you can see here, I've started my timer. Okay, I'm going to come back to you when it is burned out. Okay, just want to show you the wax is beginning to melt and you can see it seeping into the pan. It has um, got a really nice flame going right now though. I'll come back. Okay, I wanted to bring you back. It is now approaching the five minute mark. As you can see, it's still burning very strongly. It is five minutes now. It has been a windy burn test. Gusts of wind periodically. And this has done really well. Now there's one thing I don't know about in here. Because this is a metal container, uh, because the wax is collecting in that container, I don't know if that is prolonging the burn, but my original goal with this was to have a you know wet weather fire starter or a fire starter that I could use with wood pellets. I'm going to experiment in the future with wood pellets and some of my wood burning stove, twig stoves, things like that. And uh, so this was they're they're hard to start, and this is a homemade way of trying to figure out would this work and so far the answer is yes six minutes into the test we're now eight and a half minutes into the test and it's still burning well but it's not burning with as much fierceness as it used to and I can tell that the flames have now touched the Excelsior all the way at the bottom of this. And I started by igniting the Excelsior at the top. So it's kind of burned as a wick. Um, seems to have drawn the wax into itself. I'm not sure. There's melted wax in there around it, but it looks like it may have burned off some of that wax using the Excelsior, the charred Excelsior as a wick. We're now at nine and a half minutes. So, I mean, this could go on like this for quite some time, but for purposes of fire starting, I'm going to say that this is going to give you a good 10 minutes at least of burn time to try to get a fire started. Uh, if you were to put this on a flat piece of wood, it would probably have the same kind of consequence as this piece of metal does in terms of um, holding the wax and allowing the, the wad to burn the wax. We've now passed the 10 minute mark. We're at 10.05 and it's beginning to gutter out a little bit. its last little gasps here we're at the 
10 minutes and 30 second mark. You can read sideways. But it's still going. You can see what the wind is doing to it. Pushing more oxygen back into that little ball there. We're at the 11 and a half minute mark so far. Okay, the wind finally got to the the last flame there, obviously it's still glowing, but that was about 11.40 maybe. Okay, this is an old grease pot that I have used for the purpose of melting wax. That handle will get hot, and so as a consequence I'll want to hold on to it. But if we go vertical here you're going to see that the wax is beginning to melt. I don't think I'm going to need much more wax than what's already in here for my purpose. Alright, so this is a cookie cutter ring or something like that. I got this at Hobby Lobby and that's the framework for what I'm doing. This is a box of Excelsior. All I'm going to do is tear off a little wad of Excelsior, form it into a ball, and stick it down inside of this ring where it will kind of hold its shape like so. Doesn't have to be perfect by any means. Okay, the wax has gotten molten. I'm actually going to let it cool off for a little bit. Let's put that right there. You can really do this either way you want. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm swirling the wax around. I'm going to start pouring it. You're going to see that it'll go through the bottom pretty quickly in this form. So I'm going to try to let the Excelsior soak it up a little. It actually kind of hisses when you pour it into it first. This, by the way, is waxed paper. Okay, as you can see, it's beginning to come out. It won't hurt anything because it's just running on the wax paper. That excess you can cut off and put it back in your wax pot when you're done. You can see that'll cool pretty quickly and harden up.
Okay, and what I did about this time was I took the whole thing and I just flipped it over. And I'll just press it down so it absorbs the wax that's on the bottom there. Okay, you saw this runoff over here. What I did was I just, whoops, put that back over this side. I'll just keep turning it over until it hardens up. Uh, but anyway, I took a loose wad of Excelsior, moved it through that molten wax, and then just crammed it in a smaller size. So this will do, you know, probably, let's say at least five minutes worth, would be my guess, just, just from practicality speaking, based on what happened the first time. Now I did not do this the first time I did it, but why not? You know, it's just gooping up some of the wax. Okay, so this is the one that I just kind of swirled around in the Excelsior and then stuck it in there. Uh, it's still somewhat warm, so it came out really easily. This one is still molten, so I'm not going to attempt to get it out until it sets. But I'll move it over here to the side for now. Alright, so now what I want to do is try to get it out of here. And I think I'm just going to start by pushing it. And it's still warm. So if you do that when it's warm, it comes out without much of a problem. So there you have it, two different fire starters made with Excelsior, really lightweight. This size burned for well over 11 minutes, and you know, that's about half size. You could guess that it would burn for at least five minutes, but certainly enough to get most fires going if you have the right materials already gathered. Hope you enjoyed this little short video on how to make a homemade fire starter with Excelsior and some wax. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to try to answer them. And if not, um, that's it for now. Bent Brook out.